The analogy of the sheepdog that overwatches and protects the flock is one that was popularized in the military, law enforcement, security, and personal defense communities in the 1990s by the writings of Lieutenant Colonel David Grossman. Now, Lieutenant Colonel Grossman's been a contributor here at Personal Defense Network, and you can learn a lot about his sheepdog concept and his other great ideas on mindset and the will to fight and the preparation to develop your will to fight to protect your family and our American way of life right here at Personal Defense Network and at other places on the web. I actually quoted the sheepdog analogy from Grossman's book On Killing when I gave the graduation address at my police academy many, many, many years ago. I completely support the idea of the sheepdog when we're talking about the armed professional, when we're talking about the military, the law enforcement, or the professional security operator, security guard, the guy standing in the mall with nothing more than a whistle and a badge, they have distinguished themselves from the flock. They've put themselves in a position of overwatch, and they've agreed to professionally take on the mantle and the responsibility of protecting everybody else. But are you really a sheepdog? Now, if you asked me 10 years ago if I thought the sheepdog analogy applied to personal defense, I would have said, absolutely, of course, why not? But over the years, I've learned that really there is a dramatic difference when I'm wearing my badge, for example, as a reserve deputy in San Juan County, Colorado. When I put that uniform on and I go out into the public space, I am playing the role of the sheepdog. When I take an executive protection job, I'm playing a role of a sheepdog. In many different facets of my life, when I've worn either a security uniform, a law enforcement uniform, or a military uniform, I have been in a role of a sheepdog, and I know many of you have as well. But what are you really acting as when you put a gun on and you go out into the public space really with the intention of defending yourself and your family, for those that you immediately care about? But you're not standing alone. You're not standing in the corner. You're not riding around with flashy red and blue lights. You're simply a member of the flock who is prepared to defend oneself. And in a conversation with uh, the reality-based training guru, Ken Murray, he relayed a story that one of his students told him about the idea of being a ram. And that's probably what you're being. When you put that firearm on or when you just simply go out with the mindset of preparation, awareness, and willingness to defend yourself or anyone else that you happen to be going to the restaurant or the mall or going to work with, you're a member of the flock. But you're a ram. You've got hooves to kick with. You've got a mindset to fight with. You've got those horns that you might smash into someone if they really do try to cause you or someone you care about trouble. And of course, those natural tools are analogous to the tools that we carry as people who are prepared for personal defense. But don't think of yourself as a sheepdog. You're not supposed to stand off from everyone else. You're not departing from society. You're not standing aside from your family. You're one with your family. You're one with your coworkers. You're one with your community. And the more you understand that, the more you'll probably be able to encourage others to take their personal defense seriously and appreciate that you aren't imagining yourself as something else. You're imagining yourself as one of them and all of you, including me and you and your family and your coworkers and your neighbors, whether you agree with them politically, philosophically, or anything else, all of us are worth protecting and should be prepared to defend one another as members of the flock, not just when we put on a uniform or a badge and stand outside of it.